Hi, and thanks for watching this video on how to enter an expense receipt and make an expense claim in Acumatica. So in Acumatica, we have the ability to track expense receipts. And then as the expense receipts, as I get a few of them as an employee, I can put them all together and make an expense claim. Now we can do this in two different ways. One of the ways we can do it is right through a web browser. So I'm using Firefox here. Any browser will do, Chrome, Edge, Safari. Uh, they'll all work as well as your mobile browser. The other way we can do it is through the Acumatica mobile app. So let's start with the web browser and then we'll get over to the mobile app. So over here, I'm gonna click on new expense receipt. And I'm gonna get an expense item here. Now these are non-stock items in the system. And the non-stock items have a type of expense. So when you add these items, there's a different type. You can use non-stock, you can use labor. There's a bunch of different ones, but we wanna choose the type expense. Therefore, when, and, and when chosen, they'll show up here in this drop-down list. And this is how you define them. So, for example, meals, business dinner. I can give it a description. Um, business dinner with uh, Acme company execs. Okay? So there's a quantity field here. Um, in this case, it's certainly one. Uh, the amount is uh, is the amount of the receipt, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're going to drag and drop the receipt here. And I'm doing that first because I don't remember the cost of the receipt. So I'm going to come over here and get my receipt and drag and drop it right here, okay? And that's a little cheater for me because now I know the amount. So it's $85.39. So I'll come over here, I'll put my amount in, 85.39. Now, this is the total amount, but there's also an employee part field here. If the employee is maybe responsible for a certain portion of the receipt, the employee can enter that in there. Uh, reference number is just basically, it's not a required field, but it could be a reference number, an invoice number, or something like that. Uh, if I went out to a Home Depot or something and there's a ticket number, I could certainly use that as well. Uh, it does say check 7963, so if I wanted to get fancy here, I could put 7963 here. Okay. And basically, I could also bill this to the customer if I want. So I can mark this billable and include the specific customer here, uh, and then Acumatica could go off and actually generate an invoice to the customer for this amount. But in this case, I'm going to leave this blank, and I'm going to save it. Okay. Now you'll notice this expense claim here. So as we continue to build up our receipts, we have the ability to attach them to one claim. So right now, this is just a receipt in the system. Currently, uh, no one's handling it. In the, no one's approving it at this point. Uh, at some point, I'll make a claim and that'll go through into an approval process. So I'll go in here and we'll get to that, to expense claim. And we would come in here and add the expense receipt here. Now, before I do that, what I want to do is bring up our mobile app. And I'll go into the Acumatica app. Okay, so this is the mobile app. Here's our menu items in here. We're going to go into expense receipts. And I'm actually tapping with my finger on the screen. So I'm going to say uh, plus here at the very bottom left. And I'm going to give it another expense uh, description, receipt description. And this is going to be uh, crab apples because I went there two nights in a row. I'll pick my expense item and it's going to also be business, dinner, and lunch. And the amount is, let's call it $85. Okay. And now what I can do is I can go down to the bottom into files 
And I can actually, in this scenario, take a photo of the receipt. So now I don't have a actual receipt here. So I'll take a picture of the chair. And what Acumatica does is it attempts to straighten out the receipt. So you can move this around um, and try to get rid of the background part of the picture so that all that comes through is the receipt. And when I hit next, we also have the ability, Acumatica can actually make it more of a black and white or a grayscale so that you can make it look really crystal clear inside Acumatica. In this case, I'm going to continue with color and I'm going to say done here and I'm going to save it. Okay, so now if we minimize this and we go back into Acumatica, so I'm going to make an expense claim for Maxwell Baker and this is going to be my receipts for dinner. I ate dinner twice in the same night. And over here I can click on add receipts. And you'll notice I have the one I entered on the web with the reference number and then the one that I entered on the mobile device. So I'm going to check both of these off and I'm going to add and close. Okay, so now I'm starting to build by expense claim. So those were expense receipts, but I can also add additional lines right here, give them dates, give them expense items. So let's say there was a car charge as well, and I can put the amount on here. And I, so I can continue to add additional expenses right on the claim, rather than go in and add the receipts. The receipts are optional. Um, but the receipts are things that you could do on the fly and then later when you're done with your business trip for example you can make a claim so we'll save this and now what we can do this is the status is currently on hold but I can go into actions and submit this for approval okay so now this is submitted for approval as a person that can authorize these and get them over to accounting I can go over to approvals. So these are my approvals. All of my approvals come in to Acumatica right through here, the ones that are available for me. And this is all set up based on your company tree and your approval maps as to who's responsible for approving these bills and whatnot. So over here, I can see my expense claim and I can check this off. Or I can open it up and look at it and say, okay, this looks okay. And then I can go over here and I can either reject it. And one of the things we have in 2019 R1 is the ability to reject or approve with a reason if required. So that's a nice new feature. But in this case, I'm going to approve this. And now this is available for accounting to release this and go through payable processing. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions at the end of the video, there's a contact slide and feel free to reach out with any questions that you have. We're happy to answer. Thank you so much.